Welcome back, survivors. I'm the survival this and we return to the very dark, the long dark. So we are actually not sitting off too badly. It is a bit cold out. We have just gotten into the uh, did, did, uh, where are we? Uh, the coastal highway region. I'm just trying to figure out if there was anything else in here I wanted to do, or no, you know what? I'm going to open the. Where's the door? There we go. Okay, we're going to head outside, get a little bit more of our bearings, and I'm trying to remember where we exactly kind of are. We just got through the mine, and I think we're in kind of almost like a little, yeah, a little scouts camp almost, as if I were to give it like a term. It is still quite cold. All right, I don't actually have any way to... Well, I'm not geared enough to spend the time to make up the maps proper, so... Since we have a little bit of temperature left, and that's not going down too quickly, I think we're just going to go for a bit of a hike. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll have a pistol out just in case. And see where we want to try exactly getting off to, because there are a number of areas you can really go to from the coastal highway. It's sort of like a main hub. Oh, that's a bear! No, 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 no. Okay, good to know. There's a bear that way. I guess we're not going to be going that way quite yet. So, um, hmm. Bear's behind us. And, yeah, I was pretty stupid about how I came down here. That's right. So, that's really kind of like only one of... Ah, oh, see, the problem is he's almost like at the crossroads of where you can get to a lot of other areas quickly or easily. I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. I think we'll actually be going down the log route to go where I want to. I'm just going to try to spend some time in here. Um, I was hoping to see if I could find something like maybe uh, curtains I could take down, but it doesn't look like there's anything like that. Yeah, all those windows don't have much to them. How much? Ah, you know what? If it's just going to be eight minutes, we'll just break that down. If every little bit of time that we can spend. Um. Actually, you know what? Maybe I will do that, because that half hour might help us quite a bit. There we go. Oh, and it actually... Uh, sounds like it might be a bit bad out, but we're actually gaining temperature pretty steadily here. I just want to look at having a little bit of something to drink, and you know what? We'll have the last bit of food. Maybe that's... But, uh, okay, we're not going to finish it off entirely. Yes, there's the risk we're... Ooh, 14. Okay, definitely don't want to be having too much more of that too soon. Well, that does fit us pretty good for all of our meters, so it's just going to be about trying to figure out our best sort of course of action. The bear is more than likely still over in this direction. Nope, it's right outside. Bear's right outside. Good and bad to know. Okay. Thank God that they don't have it so they can, like, break down doors to get at you, so, uh... Well, I guess we're going to get a little bit of sleep. We'll try for four hours. Was not expecting the bear to be up here, though. I thought it would have been just, like, down patrolling that area. I didn't realize it would, like, come up this far. And we'll have a little bit more food. I know this is going to be very bad for the parasites, but... The sooner we get rid of all that, the better. Gosh, that's at 19. Who wants to play chicken with the bear? Let's see if we hear him again. We've been out... We've been asleep for a while. Oh, God. Good news is... I don't hear the bear... Bad news is, I can't see shit. Okay, I don't know... Hmm. Uh, I don't know how I want to try figuring this out. Because, like, on the one hand... You know, I'm going to try this way. Okay, there are rabbits, and they're pretty calm. I don't know... Oh, no, he's... Okay, he's down there.
Okay, so if he's down there, what I might do is just try to spend a little bit of time in here. And then I can maybe try going the opposite way. But that was kind of haunting, or... I'm not getting myself into any good situations here, am I? I just want to try to kill a little bit of time doing some stuff we know. So that's sharpened up. Um, I guess we can clean that. Although, yeah, it's only only 12 minutes, so... Okay, I don't know if he's going to hang around here because we're here, or what? I'm going to just try to kill the last of that. Oh, come on. Okay, well, you know what? There's so little left of that. Maybe I can even use that as... There's the door. Shelf, bed, no, door. Door? Leave cabin. Let's try again. And if we do hear him... Okay, I'm going to try going this way. Because, again, I'm surprised he came up this way. I... I don't know if he's been picking up, like, that bit of cooked meat on us or not, but... I do not like hiking through this kind of, like... It's almost like an ice fog, but it's also middle of the night, too, so... At least I don't hear the bear. That doesn't bode too well for anything else, either. Because that means my sense of direction is completely screwed up here, but I think... I want to try going down this way? I don't even know what's over this way. Yeah, this is going to be definitely hard to navigate through. Guess you just have to try wandering and see what comes... what's in the fog. I would not recommend doing this. The only reason I'm doing it is because I have a little bit of... Granted, it's a vague grasp, but some grasp of what the layout for the area is. But I think if I can get down through some of these trees, we're going to be near kind of like a coastal town site. Oh, well, that's a big if at this point, because I, again, it's a vague grasp I have of the area. Although this kind of looks like a roadish. Okay, yeah, so I think down in here is going to be where the town site might be. Oh, crap. Okay, well, thankfully it leveled off. Okay. Okay, well, you're good to know you're here. But I think... Oh, crap. Okay, this is a ruined... Yes, yeah, so this is completely ruined, but I think I'm at the town site. Nothing really seems to be in there. That's locked. I guess we'll just stop in here for a moment. Okay, so good news is we are somewhere around the town site, because I... What have we here? I think that's what that rune cabin is sort of like a little hint at, is that we're here. Oh yeah, we definitely, definitely are. The fog seems to be lifting a little bit now. So then where I actually want... Oh, actually, the fog is really lifted now. Oh, okay. You know what, it's getting too cold and I don't want to stay out in that too long since we don't exactly have ourselves set. Oh crap. Okay, you go running that way. And we're going to get in through this way. 
because this is what we want. Basically, the bunker here. Let's just get inside, and we're into warmth and safety. And this, for anybody who's played The Long Dark, is going to be very recognizable. The Quonset Garage is almost like your unofficial bunker holdout for the Coastal Highway. It has everything you could want. It has workbenches, it has tools, it has gas. Like, it is just such a treasure trove, and it's so well situated in the middle of the region, too. Oh, oh god, look! Oh, these are good to find. These are very, very worth this trip out here. Oh, and... Hello! Secondary revolver. Not in good shape, but I mean, I'll take a second one, sure. Imagine dual wielding them. Oh, that's a very nice find. Fire striker. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot we can actually, like, grab and put together. Oh, flares. Okay, so you know what? Let's... Uh, you know what? Let's go through some of these, just because if I can find a pry bar... I think I can use this. Then we can use that to open up the lockers and basically outfit ourselves to be here for a while. And use this as almost like our travel hub. Arrow shaft. That's interesting to be in a toolbox. More gloves. Whetstone. Uh, I was hoping I would have found a knife here. Flare. First aid kit, always nice to know. There's one here. Yeah, I was really hoping we could have found a hunting knife here, but I guess we're not going to get lucky. Oh, hello you. Almost missed that. Oh, and even one he Oh, just a casing. Okay. Oh. Okay, so there's a battery. Oh, revolver ammo. Nice find. Oh, oh, actually. Yeah, you know what? We'll extinguish you. And see about taking your brother here. And let's see if I can just use that one. Because, oh yeah. Which one has more? Yeah, this one. Okay, let's open that up and start storing some stuff just randomly in here just to get some weight off of us. So we'll start with clothing because we picked up a few things there. So that's some weight we don't have to worry about carrying. Um, right here we'll put away that revolver because that one doesn't have the best to it. Put away a couple of spray cans, those. We'll put away that storm lantern because it didn't have that much fuel. Ah, uh, your leather, that, that. Okay, anything else? Ah, uh, you know what? We do have a bit of firewood, so you know what? We'll even put that fire striker here. Dump a couple of those. Maybe even those. I mean, they aren't worth... They don't really weigh that much, but at least it's out of our inventory. And I think that's it for there. So let's light this sucker proper and do a little bit more searching here. Because again, th this place is always a treasure trove to try to stop at. This will come in. You didn't find. Yeah, needs pry bar. We'll take that, take that, take that. Oh, yeah, the battery. Ooh, yeah, the battery weighs a freaking ton. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's put in a number of flares. We don't need that many with us. So that lowers that a little bit more. I don't see anything else on the shelves to worry about. So we'll basically just look at going through and finding whatever might be in some of the drawers or things here. We do have that wolf outside. Well, actually, we we'll might have a couple because of the one that we shot also trying to get in here. Oh, sewing kit. We'll take that. Yeah, this might actually just be a waste of time. Doesn't seem like we're finding anything in the cabinets. Oh, what have we here? Actually, that's a pretty good find for a filing cabinet. I right, can't get into that one. We searched those two. We've actually got a bed and a fire barrel here, so that's again. This place has so much that just kind of keeps you nicely outfitted. 
probably. Oh, there's actually even a note on the table. We can give that a read. My oh, goodness. We'll take that. Okay. Two more joined us today. Seems their horse can go any further. One of them's called Sean. He's from Ireland. Not quite home, but close enough. Apparently, he came here for an acting career. Best thing is. Best thing, though, is that he's got a bag of fruit pastilles that he's going to share just with me. Probably for the best, since everyone is so paranoid. The other idiots would probably think he was trying to poison them. Thought it would be safe for this far north, less people and all. Maybe I should leave. That's actually an interesting concept. If people are trying to go north following everything that kind of goes on. I mean, on one hand, I could see you thinking, like, it might be a bit quieter and peaceful away from more people. On the other hand, it gets freaking cold up north, as we see. It's not easy tr- oh, another casing. It's definitely not easy trying to survive up this far north. Uh, more spray paint, we might- oh, right, hacksaw will take. We'll use this. And that was it for all those, huh? Yeah, that's searched. Those are all searched. Oh, uh, dusting sulfur. Anything in the fridge? Oh, yeah, uh, a little bit of soda. That's nice. Well, I don't see anything else there. We'll snag all this from the shelves and that. Okay, interesting, there's even a few things left behind here. Oh, recycled can. Okay, I think that's it for there. And I don't see anything in the front little shelves. And I don't think there's any... Yeah, nothing like shelving back behind the counter. Okay. There is one little area still to look... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I definitely need to look a little better in some of these. Almost missed that can of soda. Okay. A down vest. One locker we can get into, not quite the other one. And anything down low on the floor? No. Okay. No, you know what? We might as well take the free water that we can that's here. And that looks like that's about this place pick- Ooh. I say that, missing the mess and shelf. Okay, so that looks about this place mostly picked over. I don't think there's anywhere else super to look for anything here. I should just check, again, take a good look under everything, just in case, because you never know what might just be sitting or hidden back in a corner. Take the tools. Oh yeah, that's just scraps of paper, that's not quite firewood. Oh, can under the bed. Actually, can I even reach that? Yes, I can. I okay. need to drop something. Yeah, we're, that's what the lockers are for. And the desks. Okay, so this is kind of our miscellaneous for everything that we've gathered. So you know what, the coal will drop in. Uh, first aid. You know what, let's just transfer all those. Those are... Condition's gone down quite a bit on those, but I don't know if they'd actually drop further. Scarf, the vest. Uh, you know what, we'll make the other one our sort of food container. Our food store. Those over. Actually, you know what, let me see about the cans. Ooh, there's actually only two cooking spots on that. Okay, well, at least we know that now. So then, the rest of the cans, what we'll do, I mean, they don't weigh much, but we'll still move some over. There's that done. And transfer that over. Okay, now, all the food. And you know what, just so that way we can hopefully kill this off for good, let's have that and the water. And that'll be the last of the carnivore meat we'll have for a while. Yeah, transfer a liter over. Oh, we're still packing quite a bit of weight with us. Okay, where all is it in? Okay, all of our tools. I, oh, and the, oh, right, the jerry can. Okay, that's something we can. We definitely don't need to take all that with us. There we go, that got quite a bit back. What else is weighing us down quite a bit? Um, surprised the spray paint's that much, but I guess we'll toss that. 
Uh, send a couple of those over. We don't need two whetstones on us. And... Okay, right. Books we don't need on us. We'll put the hacks all away because we don't need the scrap metal or that to break anything down right away. Although that might actually be good for trying to get some of the meat from the wolf. No, I think for now that's probably going to be good just to kind of drop that away. I'm just going to extinguish that and see what it's looking out like outside. Because it sounds like there might be a storm that's kind of blown in. Oh, no, pretty quiet. No, oh, revolver ammo just come in handy. Very, ooh. Okay, this was a good truck to just hop into. Very good truck to hop into. I don't see anything else in here. And I don't know if we'd encounter... Anything else with the two wolves we've already kind of run into? I think what I'm going to do is spend some time just going through some of the places like the houses here, see what all we can kind of consolidate into our main base, or our current hub, and then look at where we'll go from there. Well, that reminds me, I'll have to try lighting the... Oh, you know, I gotta remember just to use the space, because that's going to be so much faster than just trying to cycle through using the numbers. Yeah, we'll consolidate as much supplies as we can into the garage, and then that way we kind of know we've cleared out the town site, and we don't have to try just, like, going through over and over again. Let's see. Not getting too lucky. But we are finding little bits here and there that'll definitely... Nope, I say not getting lucky, but there are some good things we're finding. Nope, that's actually another really nice find. Okay, so we're going to be very good on the storm lanterns. Hope nobody needs this New hoodie, which we can break down for cloth. Now nah, we can get... Pretty worn out, but we can probably get some leather from those if we break them down. We'll take that. What else do we got? Oh, no, don't want to extinguish yet. Okay, so, looking like we're not fine. Oh, could end up being useful. Another sewing kit. Cabinets have a little bit in there. You know what? I'm going to take the water. Oh, I might just hit the takeout. Uh, I'm, I'm, for some reason, making more steps than I need to for doing stuff. I don't know why. But I think that's, you know, that's basically this little place all gone through. Yeah, a little... Now, I don't think houses... Well, maybe some houses like this exist, but it's just... This almost seems so quaint that... It's a great single-person house, really. Okay. Like, I don't think I've ever come across a house, unless it's an apartment that's sort of like that, where... There's just the one bed... The bedroom, everything is almost like... Oh, new sprint roll. Ah, uh, you know what? We'll leave. Okay, are there anywhere else I can go into? Okay, there's that one there. A lot of stones behind this. Also heard a wolf howl. Uh, spray paint. You know what? I yeah, I'll take just so that way. Oh, there's a magnifying glass. Probably be helpful. I guess we'll take just so that way. We got better than just kind of leaving it and forgetting it. And candy bar. Okay. Thankfully, after the two wolves we dealt with, it doesn't seem like there's more out here. Okay, no, that's a mailbox. I just saw the black over the ridge there. A step. Oh, jeez, just the Canadian flag blowing. I thought for a second, like, there's just kind of like this black up there, and then all of a sudden it went down. I thought it was almost like a bear or something. That just freaked me out. 
I think our encounter at the start of the episode has left an impact on me. Yeah, this is what I should do if I want to get the lantern out so much faster. Okay, what else do we got in this? Almost like a carbon copy of the other one. Okay, but what do we got? Nothing really there. I wonder if this is any good to eat. Ah, there we go. That's nice to see healed. So we don't have to worry about the parasites. No, no, not that. It actually goes down surprisingly fast, now that I think about it, because... Yeah, we haven't slept since we got here. We've just been wandering around. That's kind of good to know. So as long as we pace ourselves with how often we eat carnivore meat... This will come no. in handy. Yeah, they might come in handy. Nope, another pair is not bad either. Oh, no, no. Wanna search. Okay, once we get all this stuff kind of cleared out, we'll head back to. Oh, a windbreaker actually might not be bad. Yeah, once we got this place cleared out, we'll consolidate everything back into our acting hub. There we go, just take all. I don't know why it was doing the arrow thing. Okay, that's good. Uh, do, do, do. Go through here. Cloth. No, actually, no medicine cabinet on in here. Uh, oh, I forgot to check under the bed. I don't think there's anything too important. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything here, so I kind of doubt there would be in the other place, but you never know. And these were all empty. Okay, so let's head out. And we'll take these back into the garage, store stuff away, and see how we're sitting. I mean, overall, if we don't even want to go outside for a while, we should be stocked up with the amount of food for a few days. I do have to remember, though, when I reload that I want to collect the casings that we've used. Uh, the only issue that sometimes can happen with the garage here is that you can get a large number of wolves that will usually patrol the area. Not bad if you have the ammo and means of dealing with them, but if not, then you may find yourself constantly in trouble. Okay, all I, you know, all I really need to do is that. Okay, so this is our... Oh, well, Feels we... like a lot of gear. You know what? I'm going to get all of these out, just so that way this is properly our food storage. We don't need to shove a battery in there, too. Transfer all that for now. Okay, so if that was food, this one... No, that's... Okay. So that's food. This one should be... There we go. This is our materials. Got a lot of weight already starting to build up in here, too. So we're going to probably have to look at dealing with that rather soon. Ooh. Oh, you know what? We'll check those come daylight. For now, let's just look at... Again, getting everything kind of together. I already see some pieces of gear that we can easily swap out for improvements. You... Alright, you cannot go in there. Actually, you'll... Probably be something I'll try placing somewhere. I know what? I'll take two flares. I don't think I'd really need or use them, but it doesn't hurt just to have on me. Okay, as for this big honking battery... Okay, I guess I basically just have to drop and then I'll place from there. So let's get the lantern out and we'll just quickly... Look at placing the battery somewhere up high. I have to leave something behind. Zap, you can sit right there. There we go. We're actually looking pretty good. And then I think what we'll do is we'll get a little bit of a rest, and that'll bring this episode of The Long Dark to a close. 
a little bit of a scary as pookie start. I'm not gonna lie about that. Was not expecting the bear to be as adamant as he was about trying to get us. But we thankfully were able to navigate out of that. I'm probably hyping that up even more than it was. But still, you can never be too sure. I'm just going to step outside and come back in because I didn't pay attention if it's saved or not. Okay. Kind of eerie right now, but um, we'll deal with whatever's out here next episode. Because again, there's probably two wolves we can actually harvest for sings. There's the saving. Okay, so we made it to the Quonset Garage. We are pretty well stockpiled here, so we're going to be able to spend quite a few days in the Coastal Highway re Greater Region. Thank you guys very much for joining me on this episode of the series, though. If you did like the video or the series, be sure to give us a like, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to leave them in the comments right down below. I'm always appreciative of anything that comes in, and if you have any feedback, I respond as soon as I can to it on the channel. Until I see you all in the next video, though, survivors, Please remember, as always, take care and stay alive. Mm -hmm.